Good morning, boys and girls. How are you doing? So we are going to do a read out loud on my favorite book of all times, The Three Little Pigs. Retold by Brenda Parks and Judith Smith, illustrated by Mark Mayers. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They lived with their mother. One day, Mother Pig said, You are big now. You must, you must build your own houses. The first little pig built his house of straw. The second little pig built his house of sticks. Hmm. I wonder what the third little pig built his house of. But the third little pig wanted a strong house, so he built his house of bricks. One day, the first little pig was making dinner when he heard a knock at the door. He peeped out the window and guessed who he saw. There at the door stood a big bad wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me in, said the wolf. <gasps> no, no, cried the first little pig, not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the big bad wolf. <gasps> and he did. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Uh-oh. Poor little pig. <laughs> the first little pig ran to his brother's house and ran inside and slammed the door. <gasps> then the wolf knocked at the door of the second little pig's house. Little pig, little pig, let me in, said the wolf. <gasps> no, no, cried the second little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the big bad wolf. <gasps> oh no, they look so scared. <clears throat> and he did. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. <gasps> the two little pigs ran to their brother's house and they ran inside and slammed the door. Uh-oh. Look at the brother's face. He looks so calm. I wonder why he looks so calm. Then the wolf knocked at the door of the third little pig's house. Little pig, little pig, let me in, said the wolf. <gasps> no, no, cried the third little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the big bad wolf. And he did. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but he couldn't blow the house in. I wonder why he was not able to blow the house in. All was quiet. He's gone, whispered the first little pig. Just then, the three little pigs heard a and a thump. <gasps> Something was scraping the side of the house. So, the three little pigs looked out the window and there was a big bad wolf he was climbing up the ladder. He's coming, shouted the second little pig. Quick, quick, yelled the third little pig. I've got a pot of boiling water. Let's put it under the chimney. The three little pigs got the pot and they put it under the chimney. Uh oh. Look, said the first little pig. I can see his 
foot. <gasps> Look, said the second little pig. I can see his body. Look, said the third little pig. Here he comes. And splash. The big bad wolf fell into the pot. Uh-oh. With a yell, the big bad wolf jumped out of the pot and he ran out of the door and down the road and far, far away. And guess what, friends? The three little pigs never saw the big bad wolf again, and they lived happily.